This video is produced by DCI Institute. Story based on the book Digital Business Modeling. What is the business model of Netflix? On the left side, we can position the watchers of movies. These also can be called principals. This side is an open network because everyone can use the services of Netflix as long as he owns a valid credit card. What do users get offered? Movies. Technically, these are files that can be streamed. And what does Netflix receive for that? Money in the form of a monthly subscription fee. On the other side, Netflix needs movies in order to be able to offer something on the website. Therefore, film studios have to provide movie files, and therefore they can be defined as agents. At Netflix, agents are embedded into a cooperative network. Not everyone is allowed to upload videos, as for example on YouTube, in order that agents deliver movies, and therefore Netflix pays them a fee. From the agent's point of view, this is gratification. What's missing is the mechanism, because only this defies how value is created and how it's distributed among performance groups. Therefore, we search for logical transactions and in which directions offers and gratifications point to. Let's start with the agent side. The direction of the services points towards the Netflix platform. The gratification, on the other hand, points away from the platform. Now we add a process to the transaction. First, the files are uploaded. Then the agents receive a payment. On the other side, the service points towards the users and the gratification runs into the platform. Therefore, the users have to 1. Register and 2. Pay. And then they're able to use the movies. If now both sides are connected within the platform, a cycle develops, which Netflix needs to repeat permanently and keep it in balance in order to maintain the business model in the long run. Together, these two levels define and describe the business model of Netflix. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.